Hey, welcome to a very special episode of The Ranch Show, exclusive to uh, YouTube, Facebook. We're still on Facebook, cannot believe it. I'm joined by WAMN News uh, founder, Ivan Learn. How are you? G'day, mate. How are you going? I'm very well. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy afternoon to join us. I look forward to it. Uh, obviously, it's a, it's a heck of a day, but the show must go on. The show must go on. And I want to start that with you went to sleep last night with Facebook working. You woke up and Facebook didn't work. Mm. What happened? Went to sleep last night and I kind of actually can't sleep for a reason because I was thinking <laughs> about what the coverage for the next few days are going to be because we have something major, major coming next week. And it will change, I believe, the election dynamics. But with what happens on Facebook, it is it is detrimental to that. And I think it's not a good thing because at the end of the day, you know, when people's views clearly needs to be heard and we were playing say, all right, what, what, what are we going to do uh, in, the, in the upcoming coverage? And when our numbers are spiked, spiked to a point that people actually pay attention to what we report and how we report, you know, and obviously we give our viewers live and raw information and and uh, I, I assume that you you've uh, you realized that we exist during the pandemic last year um that's right so during yeah you guys have covered uh the covid really well uh you covered the wa bushfires that we just had mm. uh your lockdown coverage was excellent that's so right. what i want to ask is you you've clearly embraced this new technology this uh using the platforms like youtube facebook facebook live how has that shaped your business? It has shaped it in a way that it's like right now. It's like um, like on television, the old days, because television is monologue, right? Um, but as I said, uh, the web and Facebook is, it is a very interesting thing. It is not a cat. It is not a dog. It's not a mouse. And you put those three into one animal. Uh, which is, and you might think, well, Ivan, why on earth are you saying that? Because you've got print, you've got radio, you've got news, but you've got television, right? That That is the traditional, that's the main core of it. Now, what the web has done and what Facebook has done, because uh, Facebook is part of web 2.0, if I have it wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. But no, I don't think you are. That's right, you've just smashed them all together into this weird animal where you can do all in one go. And... The success formula is this. Last year, when I was when we were starting to do the pandemic, because we have always been doing little bit lives here and there, we've always been doing it. And a lot of people in other spectrum and in other means sort of giggle and said, why are you doing this? So we persistently been doing it. And we have done the conferences all the time. And uh, at the time when the Perth lockdown is happening, now not this year, but last year, the mainstream networks were obviously trying to work out who's filming what and who do cutaways because traditional every network wants to film their own stuff, right? So yep. there's something. So that so during that confusion, we kept consistently going live. And when other journals, I know that they were working from home, they do rely on us too. I've heard some were actually relying on our service. Now, yep. and during the bush and during uh, that. Uh, in a period, we had to extend our news service to half hour. Uh, that is that is uh, unprecedented. On Sunday, we got written stories, and and we had to push it up because people are demanding it. So, and on a dynamic side, when you do the live press conferences, I realized one thing. I know a lot of people have a lot of questions. So, during those live conferences, I type, "Do you have any questions, folks?" And I saw the questions coming in as they come in. So. When I look at the questions, I see which one's valid, which one's genuine concerns, which one aren't. And I ask those questions on behalf of the viewers straight to the premier or straight to the minister or health or straight to the police commissioner or who is in charge. So people can, can get it right now. And that yeah. that was the power of it. And then yeah. you, the Sunday show, the glossy products, the interviews and everything, just like the traditional bulletins, but in the in a more different, a higher quality information to the point that we've reached to the point that people are giving us exclusives every week. And I think you realize that it is crazy. So this year, now forward to this year, oh, actually one more thing. Last year, we reached to 2.15 million uh, people and 4.6 million views on our page. That is phenomenal. Now this year, during the five day lockdown and the bushfire period, we have reached over 100,000 people per day on our page, consistent. 
um, and we reached up to 622,000 people. And I assume that you saw that when we were given the access to the bushfire and the ground zero, I actually held up the phone and I did a live in there as a live description chat. Now I know that it might a little bit look a bit amateurish and not having the big camera-ish because we got the big camera to film for the Sunday program, which is for the glossy, glossy uh, program, which is the Sunday show. And then we got that uh, social media, which kind of is kind of like instant noodle journalism style where, yeah. Yeah. Where, where you can get instant information and people can see it for themselves immediately. And we talk to the camera, I talk to the camera and say, it's just like I'm me talking to you right now. And let's take a look at this, for example, this burnt house here. Um, and the viewers, they saw it, they react immensely to it. And I yeah. felt that that's the magic of it. And that is because it's not a monologue, it is a dialogue. And I think it yeah. is very important. And with this being taken away, not just from us, but from even the mainstream media, quite frankly, uh, holding, holding, holding the mainstream media and especially the independent media, mainstream media have their own platform. So they, they're still okay. But the smaller outlets like you, like yourself, like us yeah. uh, and others, they've been held to ransom. And this is a really, this, this is really a disgraceful act. Well, I, I want to talk about that because, uh, look, I'm, I'm going to disagree with you a little bit because That's I right. believe that as a media company, we opt in to use social media platforms, be it Twitter, YouTube, mm. Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, you name them. Now, if you opt in and start broadcasting or providing content on these platforms and you've agreed to the terms of service of these platforms, mm. you don't deserve a a dollar as far as I'm concerned because you, we have as media companies have agreed to publish our content it would be different if it's like Google where Google is scraping that data and showing but here's the people. thing I'm not necessarily agreeing on uh, Facebook must pay for the content okay so How therefore you, I'm so yeah, uh, yeah go, no, go, for, no, go ahead. Okay. I am not, uh, uh, look, to, 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 to correct, to uh, clarify the point of what, uh, what you, your point just raised, um, I am having a cautious approach on this because I, when I thought about, and I agree with you, because at the end of the day, when I first thought, okay, Facebook's going to do this, Facebook's going to do that. Well, quite frankly, um, there's, there's advertising model and whether we use Facebook or not, you are right. You know, we've decided to use it. Yeah. We've decided now, I, I just wanted to talk about that point because you, you, you're about to say that you have, you are, you decided to use it. Now, you can have 19,000 plus likes on your Facebook page currently. Yeah. And at the moment, I take it because our Facebook page is still available, but your Facebook page is not available. You can't post at all. I tell you what, we can, but it doesn't reach people. Wow, interesting. Uh, the, the, the... So I'll show you this. I'll show you. Yep. Might as well, because I think uh, a lot of a lot of our viewers. Um, this is what happens now. Okay, let me give you an example here. Now, for example, this post we uh, posted around two hours ago. Yep. So it reaches see see two people. Wow. So yeah. I'm just on your Facebook page right this second. Of course. And just, so, there. just, just so, yeah, there's absolutely. So you, there. you posted it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is literally that, exactly. nothing. So, so, so that's why I did it. The, the reason I might think, well, why do you still do it? Because it's archival reasons. So just in case, you yeah. know, you pass the, the arguments and there's right and the, and the barrage over, we put it on. Now, back to your point, I do agree that we are using Facebook and things, yeah. um, but rather I think, you know, um, we opt in, we opt into ourselves. And have I enjoyed the process? The answer is yes. I have yeah. really, really enjoyed the process. And so do I think Facebook should pay for news? Um, now, I know that will cause a bit of a stir in history, but I don't think Facebook should. Uh, I think yeah. Google, Google should be paying, in my opinion, but yeah. Facebook is arguable because, because quite frankly, you, you know, Facebook didn't, you know, Facebook, Quite frankly, we are we chose to open ourselves. We choose to use that platform, and and it has bring us a lot of benefit. And for small guys like us to able to to do to have such amount of reach, yep. uh, quite frankly, is a miracle. I just want to touch on that because you do something unique that I don't think a lot of news agencies do or media companies do, which is you actually broadcast your six o'clock bulletin 
on Facebook Live. Now, I think that's a really good service. I think that that's great that you're trying to reach the Facebook community because there are a lot of younger demographics that don't watch TV no more and they're either on Facebook or YouTube. What is your, well, firstly, let me ask this, this question is, do you think that for long broadcasts like your half an hour news bulletin, you should get ad revenue for because realistically you're creating a show for Facebook. We do, we do. Because think about this, um, in Facebook, there is actually, because we have monetized our page. So um, now, and here's, but here's the catch, but here's the catch. There are a few <laughs> ways to it. You cannot monetize live video. You can monetize normal videos. Uh, that's my understanding. Yeah. So, so therefore we only do a streaming of that service because it favors, because the, of course the algorithm, you know, favors that. And on the other hand, you know, people enjoy that. Some people, you know, dedicated to watch that, watch that, uh, you know, that program they use that is a format that is traditional, uh, different, more different information, high quality information, but people, uh, is, is there's something that people are used to, they are comfortable with. They, and then on the other hand, uh, we got, as I said, what other things are doing it? Self description, like, you know, and we, you know, the Facebook story stuff where you can yep. swipe left and swipe right. We utilize that before and after the show. So after the show, you know, you know, swipe up, swipe up, swipe yep. up, that kind of stuff. So I get Sarah, which is the co-presenter. She's like, swipe up to watch more. And she just swipe up and there she is the bulletin. So, yep. you, you know, and you got to be water. You got to be water and you got to, I suppose, you have if, if this bottle is bottle shape, the water turns into bottle shape. If it's a star, it yeah. turns into star shape. So it's got to be flexible. And I like fl Facebook about that. So let me ask you this. Now that Facebook has basically said, look, we're kicking off media companies from our platform, what's next for you guys? Because are you going to be doing your six o'clock bulletin on YouTube or other streaming services? Hmm. So YouTube will continue to be the mainstay and there's one good news. Now, although uh, we haven't really spent time to build the YouTube uh, YouTube uh, audience, but the good news is this. The good news is that when it comes to our program, when it comes to our shows every week, we have been uploading them for the last seven years. Yeah. So therefore the whole thing, the whole suite is available. Um, now, the only question we're seeing is, okay, well, where does that leave us when it comes to live press conferences, right? Where does it leave us? So yeah. we are, so Twitter, Channel 9 did Twitter today. I realized that they streamed the McGowan conference on Twitter. I think they got like a few hundred views on that. So it shows that to a certain extent, you know, how, you know, the mainstream to a certain extent is detrimented by that as well, which everyone is in shock, quite frankly. Um, <laughs> So we're still working out, say, right, if you do a live press conferences, do we YouTube live or do we, uh, or do we Twitter live? So at this point, we might do Twitter live and then we just upload the, the whole thing onto, onto, onto YouTube so people can watch yeah. it for the day, you know, um, or something like that. Or we so, can uh, live it as well. Yeah, I, I take it you use um, like a third parties actually be able to stream on multiple platforms at once so maybe that's a, a possibility is streaming yeah. on the both platforms at once there are some applications that i'm aware of uh doing that there there are so we obviously uh you know we have to look into that but the good news is that we have a website i think you all know that, <laughs> you know that. We, we have a website uh wamnews.com.au and the good news is that we have been posting articles like there are some independent media not digging at them though i sympathize yeah. um there are some independent media companies completely rely on their social media pages and oh, mm -hmm. you know you can only imagine how painful it is for them it's that the heart suddenly, suddenly sink yeah uh, and it's not well it is interesting because i looked at our statistics mm -hmm. because i look if Facebook disappeared for us tomorrow, it would be a blow to us. Yes, it would be 24% of our traffic disappearing. But the, I think we would bounce back. Like today, we've just been doing a social media policy as in like what would happen if worst case scenario happens. Mm -hmm. um, did you have any plan or did you have any warning signs that this could happen? Because let's, let's be honest, the news cycle 
has been talking about this for months now with the new media laws and all that kind of stuff. Um, what was your business's uh, pivot? Like, were you pivoting at the, at this stage or? So what we, do, what we have done with the Twitter, when we publish news stories on a website, it automatically, automatically goes on Twitter. Yep, so, yep. And, and so therefore, uh, obviously, obviously we haven't been focusing growth on, on Twitter because obviously Twitter is less interactive. I think you do acknowledge that though. I mean, perhaps I'm yeah, wrong, yeah. But, but Twitter is less interactive than Facebook. Uh, Instagram, is it really for news? Not really. But there's only there, but obviously uh, Instagram, we, we don't have a presence there because we just, we, I don't, because our, our, our staff and the teams even thought, well, is Instagram, re does it really fit the news format? It doesn't. So, oh, okay, Let, let's, 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 and then let's talk YouTube about as well. Yeah. Now, YouTube is definitely okay for sure. With you. I, I just want to, I just want to quickly touch on those comments that you made because as a targeting younger audience, which is realistically what you're trying to target, wouldn't short three minutes news stories on Instagram work? Because then the, the younger generation, the, and I'm talking about the, the 16 upwards generation, would be able to just swipe up and get your three minute clip. Yes, it, it makes a bit more work, all that kind of stuff, but that's engaging your people. And then if they really want to follow you anywhere else, you can put the links of your YouTube channel or your Twitter channels. Mm. I agree with you when it, you said Twitter is um, less interactive. kind of a mess and less, less interactive because there is no way to actually have a live chat. Now, Twitter it's Michael have, blogging, you know, Twitter, the whole yeah. concept of Twitter is Michael blogging. Well, they, they do have Periscope, which is their, mm -hmm. their live streaming uh, arm. Have you thought about maybe trying that as a live streaming service? Because I know that's very much like Facebook lives. You can actually do a Twitter live stream uh, on, on the phone as well. So, yep. so, so therefore, uh, what we're going to do tomorrow, because obviously the press conference just keeps coming. Uh, what, <laughs> we're gonna, what, we, what we will do tomorrow is do it on yep. that. Awesome. So uh, well, let's, see, uh, what, let's see how they will up. Yeah. Sorry. I, I what do you think is the outcome of this this media bargaining with Facebook? Do you think Facebook is going to cave in, or do you think Facebook is going to introduce new terms and conditions for media uh, companies that they have to agree to to actually use their platform? That is a very important question, and I will quote you what Josh Frydenberg said earlier. Now. Uh, I think that we've all followed on Twitter and I've looked at that tweet a billion times. Uh, that tweet is, says very clearly, um, I think uh, we, we all know that he met with, uh, he, has, he had, had to uh, talk to uh, Mark Zuckerberg this morning. The yep. second question is, he raised a few remaining issues with the government's uh, news media bargaining code. Listen again, few remaining issues. Yeah. So... Um, now I'm not so now of course it sounds optimistic right but having said that few remaining issues but it could be let's say three right we don't know what it is yeah. right but obviously it's about the uh, we don't know which part of the bargaining code or which part of the law they're talking about but those issues may sound may sound okay but those are big issues that we'll be talking about and of yeah. course you know this is not our platform. This is America's platform. Um, and and uh, Mr. McGowan today, uh, when we had the press conference there this morning, he already, uh, he, he has obviously hammered it out and I asked him two times as to say, look, you, you know, it also detriment to independent services as well. And uh, could be yours to, as well, if, yeah. if they choose to shut you down, right? And yeah. what can you do? There's not much you can do really. It's out of our hands. So- well, that I, we I agree only, with you. We can there. only diversify the thing. So back to your yeah. question as to Mark Zuckerberg, do you think Facebook will cave in? There is a possibility, but I think the government will have to make a, a, a way, way bigger compromise than that. You know, there will be a way, a, a compromise that goes way bigger for the government. And in fact, I think what Facebook is doing is basically held the media to ransom to a certain extent. Even those uh, who may not get money out of it, and even those who monetize it and doesn't necessarily demand uh, 
that kind of stuff, you know, they, they got harmed. And, and they're yeah. saying, yeah, well, you know what? The power is, is with us. You need us. We don't need you. That, to a certain extent, is bullying. Now, I think, look, you know and I know very well that when they, before they switch off, they will be yeah. 10 steps ahead thinking about what the PR, PR, which is public relations crisis, is going to be, how the leaders are going to react and everything. They will have worked out 10 steps ahead of us or ahead of the government, just like oh, that. So, where the, so how the negotiation steers and as to how much compromise both sides make, in my opinion, I think Facebook isn't really, uh, isn't really going to compromise too much. Well, it's interesting. I want to just um, quickly quote uh, uh, Facebook here for a second because oh. they came out earlier this morning or, well, last night, I would take it they released this. And in Facebook's statement, they said, the proposed law fundamentally misunderstands the relationship between our platform and publishers who use it to share news content. They went on to say, news makes up less than 4% of the content people see in their news feeds. Now, mm. where, where that's- Say the last part again, read the last sentence again. Yep, news makes up less than 4% of the content people see in their news feeds. Well, well, um, I don't, look, when they, look, here's the thing, when they, when, when, when they, when cherry picking data, of course you cherry pick data that, that suits you, you know, yeah. maybe four, four, okay, 4% 4 where? Is it on the front page? Is it on the stories? Is it on the video side of things? Which part? Well, they say news feed. So I take it that's the home page the home newsfeed page. that you see. Well, that's the wall, so to say, the news feed. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. but what about others? You know, what about videos as well? You know, when so basically, so therefore, you know, there could be questions. Now I'm not saying that their data is inaccurate. I'm not saying that. But of course, when you cherry pick things, of course you cherry pick the things that suits yeah. you and therefore you make your argument, right? nobody would make an argument with a point that self-defeats so okay. therefore um yes um you know it'll be in my opinion it'll be interesting to see what 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 that is what that is i, I just want to quickly because a lot of people have been um messaging me and commenting because i've written a few posts on facebook and <laughs> of course you put it on facebook <laughs> and linkedin uh, someone a lawyer said that their freedom is diminishing uh, because of this action by by Facebook, and I I did respond basically saying, well, it's like getting a license to drive. You get your license and you agree to the road rules mm. of that state or wherever you drive. That that license can be taken away. Now, is 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 that what we're saying with social media? Is that these social media giants can create their own platform, which they have, pay the know. bills that they have, and they have the right to say sorry, we're no longer allowing you on our platform. Just like Twitter banned Donald, uh, YouTube banned Donald Trump, Facebook banned Donald Trump. This is just like that, but just, oh, hang on. We're going to disagree with news this time. Your views on that? Well, I think at the end of the day, it's, it's stressed again that we don't own the platform. You know, so therefore, do they, do they have the right? The answer is yes. You know, and and so therefore, as to say, you know, what, what, what the next step is going to be, I, I don't know. But yeah. what I do know is that when you enter someone's house, you, no matter how absurd those laws are, it's not your house. <laughs> it's someone <laughs> else's house. So yeah. um, I have to say that in in this case, uh, in this incident, uh, it is obviously, you know, re regretful uh, to to end this way. But I hope that there will be a way for it. Now, of course, they, of course, both sides are, uh, you know, um, having negotiations. Uh, I think at this point, I would try to wor worry uh, less. Right? I try to try to wor worry less as to what the fallout is going to be, uh, and try to focus on to say, right. So how do we, how do we? Uh, Re, how do we basically reconnect with with the audience? Because at least they know that we have a website, but yeah, uh, but Twitter and all the others we've always mentioned on a, on a on a bulletin is on our on our programs. 
works, but obviously we we have to get the word out there. And uh, we have, uh, I shouldn't have you heard of, uh, we work with some other little uh, other independent partners here and there and try to cross. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I saw, I saw one come up in the Twitter feed today. Uh, I six believe it's six right? news. That's the one. That's right. Leo, good old Leo. Yes, um, I, I, he, he reminds me of my younger self. When I first started, I was 17 years old. I was a Chinese yeah. journalist. Uh, he, um, you know, and, and we, we have just had some conversations uh, to cross promo each other and we're going to roll out a promo with each other. So we're going to help each other and we are going to support each other during this time. So, and we have to. Yeah, absolutely. We do have to support each other as young media companies and as the new era to media as well. I do have one more question for you, and this is more of an opinion based on your uh, watching the news and all that kind of stuff and being there. Do you think that uh, these the government is bullying uh, these big tech companies by basically saying, look, it's our way or the highway? Can you repeat your question, if you don't mind? Do, do, do you think the government is bullying tech companies by saying it's either our way or the highway? Well, I think at the end of the day, the government certainly, you know, have the rights to to make legislations. Uh, but obviously, as we said before, the infrastructure, on the other hand, the house doesn't belong to us. So therefore, um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it is us that gets, sh it is us, and it is you that gets shut out in the cold. Uh, when when people have finally, some of our audience have believed that they finally find an independent source in the Perth Metro that they can they can relate or they like to watch or they, uh, they it's, been, it's been taken away from them. You, you know, why, why, why should that be the case? And most importantly, I think at the end of the day, it also serves as a reminder uh, that, Look, we've talked about this time and time again, not on our news, but I suppose as our as citizens, as to say Australia should have its own social media network. Now, <laughs> then we can set the rules. Then we can yeah. set, then we can set our own rules, right? Yeah. The, now, I'm not saying don't use Facebook. I'm not saying don't use Twitter, but as I said, um, the infrastructure doesn't belong to you. You know the infrastructure doesn't belong to us. <laughs> so and even and even then, you've got to remember, as I said, one more time, is a private company and a government enterprise. They can both make rules. They can both make it miserable for each other. But at the end of the day, in the world of shadow boxing, today is the clear implication as to say who's the one that's paying the price. And at the yeah. end of the day, ultimately. It's you, the viewer, the citizens, and those people who find it or enjoy certain news news services. You know, no matter it can be, um, you know, as long as they are credible, informative, and and us, you know, we're on the ground and we aim to do things differently. And and I think you understand that we aim to do things differently. It is, as I said, the good news is we're still around. The bad yeah. news, on the other hand, is is that we have to connect, or not bad news, I suppose the more urgent thing to do is to reconnect with 19,000 people who liked us and our 28,000 followers. Our followers are actually 28,000. Yeah. So it has been more- They're always bigger than your likes. And they are the driving force. You know, yeah. likes is not the one that matter, it's the followers. And yeah. the followers were 10,000 over um, our page likes. now. That speaks of volume. So I hope that if those people are watching this and who have, who has enjoyed WAM News before and or who haven't would like to find out, they should they should uh, obviously go to our website wamnews.com.au and check it out, or go to our Twitter or or YouTube. So basically, yeah, then yeah. they can watch the programs and everything. But the website has all the written articles as well. So that address again is wamnews.com.au. Uh, two ends. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two ends. I don't worry. I, there's been so many times I've gone wham news, and it's like, no, it's going to double end. I tell you what, when um, the cadets first started, and if they want to do reporters do say that's like, no. <laughs> so, as the, as the news editor, you got to rein it in. <laughs> so, here we go. Awesome. Well, Ivan, learned it's been a pleasure to speak to you. Uh, for people that want to get in touch with your business and 
uh, with and follow your news organization, they can go to WAM N News. That's W A M N Benelli News dot com dot A U. Uh, where can they find Twitter? They can Twitter is also the same at W A M N News. And in fact, uh, I will send you obviously the the latest picture that we have of how to stay in touch with W A M N News Perth. I'll give you that picture, and obviously, I hope that you can all share it around. Well, we'll we'll put it we'll put it as an overlay in this. That's no problem. Uh, now the other uh, you're you're on YouTube, so you'll be pushing that over the next few days. So um, we'll continue to watch, do so. Yes. Yeah. So we'll have the YouTube link at the bottom of the description mm. on both uh, of on as many platforms that will take this video. Uh, Ivan, it's been a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy day, and I wish you all the very best. Same to you. Uh, uh, to whatever you do, I think that at the end of the day, we are all uh, have no matter how big. And no matter how small the audience is, as I said, yeah. it is very, very important uh, that that we that we be kind to our viewers, right? And, Absolutely. And I hope that and I hope that, and I hope that uh, they will at, at the end of the day uh, they will re they will return it. And although sometimes we not might we might not agree with each other, but we need to be kind to each other. So thanks for your time. No, you're well, very much much welcome. And that's the end of this episode okay. of the rant uh, special bite size edition. Uh, enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out the links in the description and follow everyone on other platforms such as youtube twitter and if we're still on facebook on facebook as well until next time i'm russell that's ivan and i'll see you next time bye bye thank you